Hello everybody and a good day to you all the day. I'm talking about the movie The Circle. This movie is directed by um, James Ponsol and the actors are in the movie Emma Watson, Glenn Headley, Bill Paxton, Elar Katrain, Karen um, Gillian, John Boyega, Tom Hanks, and Patton Oswald. In this movie here you follow um, Emma Watson's character May while she gets a, a, gets a, a new job working at The Circle. Her, the job she has now is kind of crappy. Um, she, 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 she lives with her parents and her father is sick. He's very sick. He, um, he has MS. And she, he's dealing with that. And so, she, so her getting this new job will pretty much help out the family. And so she feels as though she can get a whole lot of great opportunities. And she gets um, invited to go to this place by um, her friend, um, her friend um, um, Annie. Annie works at, works, at, works at the circle. What she does there, I'm not quite sure, but she's a very busy girl. And so she, so she, tells, she tells her friend, May, that they got job opportunities there. And she can come work there. And she gets her interview. And she gets working. And she starts working at the circle. Now, the circle is a weird place because it, it feels more like a cult. Everybody there is also happy. I mean, they love. I mean, it's good to love what you're doing. But the, they, they're very creepy about it. It's like a very creepy feeling about this. Especially because everything that they do is pretty much connected to social media. Even people who work there are connected by social media. And they want a maid to get all on board, get full in. And at first, she seems like she's a little hesitant. But after a while, she finds her place and things happen from there. Now, before I get into the good about this movie, I'm going to start with the bad. Okay, here are the bad parts. Okay, the timing on this movie is kind of weird because you don't quite know exactly how long it really it takes for them to certain people to get to where they are. Because... At first, Emma says, but he's starting working there. And then, next thing you know, she's in meetings. Because it's like, what, what, what happened? What? What? I mean, and it, it, until, until they said it, you would not have known. Does, does this all happen in a month? Or just in a week? Or how? What? I don't, I don't know. Another part is, the movie mostly focuses on Emma Watson's character, May. Now, everybody else is in, people, other people are in this movie, but you don't really get to know them that well. I mean, you got, you got Tom Hanks, he's in the picture, and Tom Hanks pays Billy, and he pretty much like, um, I guess you could say, run the company. And he's supposed to be the bad guy in the picture, but he doesn't, but you don't really know that for sure. It's just like, you, you kind of have to imply that yourself that he's the bad guy, because he has a lot of ideas that seem a little bit wrong and creepy, but... You don't quite know if his intentions are evil or not, but because they don't really explore that, I just like you. You know he's supposed to be the bad guy, but you don't quite know for sure what he wants to do or what he's trying to do or what his motivations are. Yes, he wants politicians to be more open and more honest about what they're doing and nothing and no secrets there. He's wanting to do a whole lot of things to make sure everybody knows what's going on. Okay, that sounds nice, but he may he may be going about a, a, about a, a wrong way, but. He's, he looks like he has good intentions, but you don't really know for sure if he's evil. and Because you, you don't know, what is he doing with all the information that he has at the circle? What is he doing with it? Is he trying to take over the world? Or run governments? Or take down government? I don't know. what You don't really know that for sure. And then you got Patton Oswalt, who is his right-hand man, and he barely talks to this picture, so you don't really know exactly what they're trying to do, or what their motivations are, or what they want to do with this information. It's not really, it's not, it's not really explained or cleared out. Then you have um, um, John Boyega's character, um, Ta Ty, and you don't know who he is at first, because he meets um, he meets Emma Watson's character's May. They have a little conversation, awkward conversation, and, and and John Boyega, I like John Boyega, but he barely says anything in his, his movie picture either, and you don't really quite exactly sure what he wants to do either. Like this, he's not down with everything Tom Hanks' character is doing, but you don't exactly know what he wants to do to stop it or change it or make things better. You just know he doesn't like it, and then he makes a lot of weird faces. That's pretty much it. I just, I, okay, I, I, why are you even here? I just, I, okay. Then, I, and then you have um, um, Emma Watson's friend um, on the show, in the movie, Annie. And Annie's all loves the, loves the circle when she first meets her. And she, she writes it over. They are friends and lovey dovey, but she travels a lot. And the next thing, the next couple of scenes, you see her. She's like haggard. She's beaten down. She looks tired. Looks like she's been through a war. They're like, what happened? Like, what went, what went wrong? And she, and she's like, 
kind of obsessed, I'm mad at um at, um at May because she's moving up in the company, and she, and and she's still doing what she's doing. I, like I don't know if she's jealous of her or not. Like it's not quite clear. And you don't know exactly what she's doing to make her get to this point where she's like, she said she almost overdosed on drugs. But just what? When did this happen? Like just, I, I, what? I, I, I don't, like, so, okay, I guess. I mean, it's like, you don't really know, quite know exactly what these people are doing or what they're trying to do or, like, oh, okay, okay, dokey. Like, oh, all right, I guess it's bad. But they don't show you why it's bad. And so... And then you have um, Emma Watson's um, character, May, who starts off at first working in the circle. She's a little hesitant, but then she drinks the Kool-Aid, too. She gets all into it. So now, but the thing is, though, it's not quite clear what she wants to do. Does she want to run the circle? Take down the circle? Fix the circle? I don't quite know exactly what she's trying to do or trying to betray. Because I just, something bad happens involving her friend in the circle. And so you think... That, that that when she leaves and, and then when she comes back, you think that, oh, she's going to take down the circle. She's going to work alongside um, Tay and they're going to work together. And they, they're going to expose the circle how evil they are and to the world and take it down from the inside out. And that, But that doesn't happen. It's just, so, you, you don't, so you don't know what she wants to do either. So the, the weird part is this whole movie is about transparency. No secrets, because secrets are lies, and I want everybody to know everything about about everything about you, about about the go what our government is doing, blah blah blah. But this movie doesn't want to tell you anything, which is weird. The movie's about transparency, and you know everything, but the movie's not telling you anything. So it's just okay. So I'm not supposed to know what's going on, but I'm supposed to watch it and enjoy it too. That's weird. This whole movie's about exposing secrets and lies, and I'm trying to figure out. Why John Boyd Eggers' character is trying to do or what his motivations are? I don't know. They want to say is, um, is um, Tom Hanks' character actually evil? Or what is he trying to do with all the information? I don't know. So I just so what happened to her friend Annie? What did she the, the the job make her evil? Did they, are they make her do dirty things? She's she, she, she feeling conflicted about. I don't, I don't know. So is Emma Watson's character made trying to take down the circle and stop them from what they're doing? Whatever it, whatever it is that, that they're trying to do or doing or whatever, like, no, nope, no, okay, fine, I guess, right. Let's move on to the good parts. Now, I'm not saying anybody's acting was mind blowing, blowing out the picture, but when Tom Hanks was on the picture, was on the show, and his character as um, Bailey, and he was giving his speeches and motivation and stuff like that, I actually did enjoy those moments. I, actually, I thought it was kind of funny, he was very charming, very entertaining. I mean, I didn't drink the Kool-Aid. I, I thought it was kind of weird and creepy, but still, and that's, I thought I thought it was fun to watch, and um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. I thought that, I thought that's more positive. So maybe, maybe, maybe hold on, let me think about it a little bit more. Moment. And Martha was all right; she was fine. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I mean, I understand what they're trying to do uh, uh, with the whole with the whole. Uh, because it's trying to take what we're doing now with social media, how people like to tell too much about themselves and expose it to the world and stuff like that. I, 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 I could kind of understand it, but this wasn't explained well, so you can be to fully enjoy it. And that was messed up. So, that gives me a grade. I'm not sure what to give it. Is this like a C minus? A D? One of those. It's one of those. I'll just say a D. I'll say a D for now. I'll say, I'll say a D. Yeah, because... It's, I got more bad than I got anything bad to say this movie. So, yeah. But don't take my word for it. What do I know? Go see it for yourself if you want to. I mean, you want to see the circle? Hopefully, when you watch it, you will have fun. You will enjoy it. You will have a ball. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, you will. And if you didn't see the circle, leave your comments down below. Leave the comments down below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Heard how you felt? Leave your comments down below. Well, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So, give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up. Mm. Boom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. Like I always say, my dreams are in my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.